everyone! How's it going? My name is Brandon, and today I'm gonna recommend you some books. Because spring is here. Spring is here, which means summer's nearby. Summer's nearby. Summer's nearby. Bye, bye, bye. I'm just excited for summer, can you tell? Summer's nearby! Stop. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. Sorry, I'm just. It's one of those days, you know, when it's the sun's out, it's shining, you can smell summer in the air, and you just want to recommend some books to read. So as you can tell from the title, I'm going to recommend you got some spring books for y'all to read. Who doesn't like to read some things that will remind them of spring? Honestly, don't know. Like half of the time when you guys recommend me books to read, I don't know, it doesn't really fall into a season. It's more like it feels lighthearted, and it just fits either the books have like a summery or spring vibe and you're just like, cool. I'm just gonna make a video about these books because they have like these springish summer themes in them. But anyways, who cares? Without further ado, let's get started. The first set of books I'm gonna recommend to y'all is the, uh, To All the Boys I've Loved Before duology. Trilogy now, it's gonna be a trilogy by Jenny Han. These two books ain't a duology. The third book is literally coming out next month. First book, To All the Boys Beloved Before and the second book, P.S. I Still Love You, right? Yeah. Why I recommend you guys this book for spring? Look at this. Can you not tell me you look at the cover and be like, Ooh, this is perfect for a spring or summer read. Yeah. Honestly, I look at this and I'm just like, I think of pink and blue. The cover itself? Yeah. Bright pink. I'm a dude and nothing against pink. Pink is a manly color. When you take a book like this to school and people are asking, what are you reading? And I say, oh, I'm reading a book called To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. Y'all are like... What? Literally about a girl who writes love letters to each of the boys that she has crushes on. She never sends them out, right? And she puts them in a box. Somebody sends out all those letters to all the boys that she had crushes on. To all the boys she loved before. Book number two would be Alex, comma, approximately. This book is so good. I'll give you a brief synopsis of this book because I just recently read it and I loved it. So this book takes place in California. That's a plus because I'm from California. It's about a girl and this guy that she's been talking to online. They're like movie buffs and film buffs so they talk about all these types of movies from like the 50s and 40s all the way to the present and it's really cool because the author inserts like movie quotes and captions like that in to each of the chapters before you start. So that's really cool and refreshing because I just love movies. The girl moves to California with her dad. She knows that the guy lives there, but she doesn't tell him that she's going. She gets a job at a local museum. What do you know? The security guard is her online friend. I mean, that's not a spoiler because it literally says that in the blurb. I'm just gonna point out a key like phrases that really struck and resonated with me. California, redwood trees, churros, surfing, museums, movies. I recommend this during spring and summer because it takes place in summer on a beach in California. Also very diverse as well. It features a diverse love interest. He's like half Polynesian and Hawaiian. Her friend is also Hawk as well. It features a disabled character. The next book I'm gonna recommend to you guys is somewhat different because I feel like even though it's, yeah, sure, it has like summery vibes and all that. It's also a thriller, YA thriller. It's really rare for me to like give praises to YA thrillers mainly because they don't deliver what I want them to deliver or what I expect out of them. Young adults, so they're garnered towards younger audiences. Whereas in new adults, mystery psychological thrillers are just that more intense and they're just adult. It takes place in summer or spring break, I don't remember. Dangerous Girls by Abigail Haas. How do you recommend? I'm not gonna tell you what it is about, just trust me. Speaking of new adult psychological mystery thrillers, Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. I totally butchered her last name, but that's okay. I mean, that's how we do on booktube, right? <laughs> this book has also become a one-hit wonder on TV, HBO. But before you watch it, you might wanna read the book first, and I'll tell you why. Honestly, just light and humorous, but it had the element of mystery there. You don't wanna read the book, but you don't watch the TV show, go for it. However, there are some elements that have been taken out of the TV show or added in. But if you read the book, which I highly, highly recommend, it's so much better. Both equally good, but the book has just more backstory and more depth and layer to the characters. There's something at the end of the TV show that kind of ends abruptly. Whereas in the book, it kind of gives you more backstory and more depth to the characters as to what happens. I'm not gonna say anything. 10 out of 10, highly would recommend this book. Especially for like a spring, summer, murdery vibe if you're into that. Hopefully you're not, you're not into that. Uprooted by Naomi Novik. If you like like whimsical writing or fantastic fairy tale origin stories, it's not really exactly an origin story, but it's more of like a piece was taken out of a fairy tale and the author expanded it into like a full-blown novel. 
which by the way I thought was really cool and really unique. Her writing style I really loved. Very magical like I said if you like the Raven Boys or the Night Circus. Everything whimsical magical I'm relating to Raven Boys and the Night Circus because that's pretty much what I do now. It's also really pretty as well. They don't make this edition anymore. Also white which is like summery spring vibe. If you guys want to know like more bookish updates or shenanigans, you guys can follow me on Instagram. I also have Twitter and Goodreads. All this is down below if you guys want to check that out. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you guys all soon with a new video. Goodbye! <laughs>